Hello, beautiful people. So today, I don't even know what day it is. Saturday, it's 12.30. It's been one of those mornings, but I have a lot to do. We got back from my parents. I actually don't even know how long it's been that we've been back. It literally feels like six months. Um, and I feel like I've gotten nothing done around here. Um, every time I walk into a room, there's just, I can't find anything. I'm going a little crazy. So um, I've dedicated this week to kind of putting it all back, it's cleaning it all up and um, kind of getting back on track. Today I had planned to clean the kid's playroom, but then my son decided to pee on the carpet in his room this morning. So, and now I am cleaning their room, which involves cleaning it all, cleaning the carpet, um, going through their closet, because I'm finding that a lot of their clothes just don't fit from last year. They're definitely, we need to go through that, make some space in those drawers for new stuff. And as most of you can tell, I have chopped my hair off. Oh, that's cute. Um, I was going for a lob, I guess they call it, a long bob. Um, and I wanted to be a redhead again. I was a redhead um, like in high school. I was a natural redhead. It was really weird. My hair's gone through a lot of different changes over time. So I went to the hairstylist and asked to be a redhead and she made me a brunette with blonde highlights. <laughs> um, going to the stylist is um, for me a lot like most people going to the dentist. Overall, it's not my most exciting uh, thing to do. Okay, I once heard somebody say that your eyebrows don't have to be sisters, they can be distant cousins. I think that's, I think we got the cousins going on today. Two coats, always two coats of mascara. Always. In college, every time I didn't wear mascara, I had somebody ask if I was sick. No, no, I just didn't, just didn't put makeup on today. I decided for that extra half an hour of sleep. There we go. Now I have hair on my face. Eyebrows, eyelashes, done. Okay, so one of the things I've been catching up on is laundry. I did six loads of laundry yesterday, six. And um, I have two more to do today. I wish you guys could feel how soft these are. Oh my gosh. My mother-in-law just bought them for us. I needed some new ones for our guest bathroom and these are perfect. They're perfect. Um, and they're so soft. I don't even know the brand. I can find out. There's a tag probably somewhere, right? Kara? Kara Home? It was a home goods find or something like that. Oh, they're lovely. <laughs> It's never ending. Never ever. End. Oh my god, all the socks match up. <laughs> that never happens. I always have a spare sock. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure everybody always has a spare sock. Not today. Write it down. One done, one to go. I love folding towels. Anybody else? There's just something about something about folding towels. I love it. Okay, everybody's crying. It's suddenly quiet. I hit record and it's it's weird, but um, it's snack time now. No laundry. No laundry. We're doing snacks. Yeah, snacks. So what do you guys like to give your kids for snacks? I usually do some fruit, some vegetables, animal crackers if they're being really good. We got some, some sniffles going on though, so I'm thinking oranges. That's as far as I've gotten. <laughs> I don't even eat oranges because I hate peeling them so much. Some of them are like really awesome where the skin has started to separate from the, the orange, the little mandarin, but I don't know. It's, it's the end of the season or, or, or what, but these guys turn my finger orange. And the things we do for our kids, right? Ruggable. Love this thing. Okay, so laundry's folded, dishes are done, dinner's thawing, kids are eating, and I'm gonna go upstairs and start in their room. 
God help me. Try to wake up from a dream. It's harder than it seems. Birds are flying all around. Some fall and hit the ground. This is where I should belong. Inside a simple song. This, guys, is the haul of stuff that I got out of the kids' room. Um, obviously, we have the baby on the left and the two older ones on the right. Uh, but it's a lot of stuff. Those are some pretty big hampers going on there. Um, so I'm going to pack this stuff up, separate it, figure out what's going to Goodwill, what's trash, what'll be saved for the little one or a couple neighbors that just had some babies. Uh, so we'll hopefully be able to give some of this stuff. You guys, I did it. Um, I went through, I don't know, like two or three or seven bins. I, I lost track. I don't know. So I have a whole bunch for donation, a little bit for trash. It was stuff that was super stained or ripped, you know, anything like that. And then I cut down on what we're storing. So let me show you. And this is what I've kept boy and girl zero through one. Now, girl is a little less. Um, how do I say that? It's like zero through six because our little one is currently in six month. And this mess <laughs> is six through 12. It's stuff that I haven't gone through yet. It's just a mess. So that is stuff to come for the little one. Okay, this is all for donation. It's girl and boy. Um, I don't even know what years. I think it's zero through, some of it's 40. So yay, it's all broken down so that I can give it to, you know, the people who need it. But otherwise it is all set and done. Yeah, I'm feeling so good I wanna keep going, but I know the kids are gonna be home soon so I've gotta get lunch on. It feels good. Now I just have to get it out of the house. That's the hardest part, I pack it up and then like finding time to take it somewhere is nearly impossible. So that's the next goal. Hey guys, it's the next morning, but I have been doing things and I realized that I haven't been taking you guys along with me. So I'm kind of mid project right now. I am cleaning still, but I'm kind of moving things around. I kind of, um, as Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part says, I have the itch to switch and it's November and it's 92 degrees out. <laughs> I miss fall, it's my favorite season. And um, we don't really get that here. Like in the middle of January sometimes, it like kind of feels fallish for a day or two, but you know, that's the desert for you. So I'm just gonna jump right in. See what I can get done while the kids are not here. I'm tired in no so many ways. Been gone for seven days. I don't know why I can't explain. Like where that's going um i'm not a huge fan of this there anymore but uh i definitely need a table near that chair uh, all right let me play a little bit more and then i'll get back to you okay so it's obviously not much of a change i just threw a plant on the left hand table over there but i think i'm gonna live with it for a second i don't think i hate it too much it's just mm, i don't love it either so It'll probably change, let's be honest. Okay, so the whole reason that I moved, I wanted to move that uh, table with the plants is because it used to be in this corner right there. And this is kind of like the kids play area and everything is shoved. You can see it all lined up right here. It's just shoved underneath there. And um, it's just messy. It's driving me crazy. I can't vacuum. All this stuff from the back door blows in and then I have to move all of their little toy furniture to clean it. It's, it was too much. So I'm going to try to move their toy furniture to where the table with the plant was and see if I love that more than this. Probably will. 
so much better it's like it just got so much brighter over here i mean it's all blown out right now but oh my god let me take you so you can see okay so everything's still a mess around it but all of this stuff here plus this plus this this all used to be lined up right here so it all came out you couldn't get around it nothing like that um but now look, it's their little play areas over there. There's this huge floor now. Oh my God, I could, I could dance on there. Um, oh, that makes me so happy. I'm just bored in every way. I don't know where I wanna go. This is seasonal stuff, obviously. We don't need it back here anymore. But I don't love it either. I'm kind of feeling like the other room. I'm gonna leave it for a little while and then I'm gonna go from there. All right, so this next part kind of breaks my heart a little bit. Um, it's time to put away some baby stuff. She never really loved that swing. My other two loved it, loved it. So it was like the first thing I set up because I was really excited about it, but she did not like it. Um, and now she's, she's growing. We're not gonna use it anymore, so I'm gonna put that away. There's a couple other things to put away. Clear up some space in this room. Uh, it makes me so sad. My babies are all growing up. The way I am is not what it seems. Tangled up in Hey guys, well, thanks for tuning in this week. Um, I realized that I totally forgot to film an outro to this video. So it's the next week, um, probably the day that this will be posted. <laughs> um, obviously I look a little bit different. You'll get some more info on that next week, but I hope you got some inspiration out of today, maybe some motivation, um, but I had fun. I had fun hanging out with you guys. So thanks for spending some of your day with me and I will see you next week. Bye guys.